Because there's two different types of people, in my opinion. You're either a saver, right? I'm just going to save money, save money, save money, or I want to be an investor. Again, one is more active and one is more passive. Guess which one? Not more passive is savers. Because I make my money, I save my money, I hope it grows. It's going to take me time and generations for that money to grow and compound. I'm passive about it. I'm trusting somebody else with my savings and investments, and I have hope. I have no predictability. I just have hope, and I hope it'll be there. In a time when I need my money the most, I hope it's there. See, that's a saver, okay? And listen, uh, our family's only been here in America for one generation. I'm a first generation born Filipino here in America. My parents came here from the Philippines in my entire working life. I've seen savers, I've, I've seen people go to school, I've seen people go get a job, I've seen people get, get, get degrees, but guess what I've never seen a lot of savers do? Retire sooner than later. And when I'm looking at it, investors, okay, they take a little bit more risk in the beginning. They may not get ahead in the short term as savers do, but guess what they do? They save, they tuck money away and develop a cushion, and they reinvest that money. They reinvest the money that they earned right back into themselves so they can expand their, expand their knowledge, their thought process. And here's the thing. What I realize a lot of investors do, they invest in seasons, not generations. What do I mean by seasons? Three months here, I'm looking for a quarterly, a quarterly report. I'm holding, I'm holding myself accountable to my success. I'm holding myself accountable to my work and my efforts. I work through seasons. I sow and then I reap and then I harvest. And then a re sow again. That's the process. And they're active and they're involved. They're, they're seeking and guiding, expanding their wisdom. They're seeking, guiding, expanding people who have been there, done that. They walk into a room knowing a lot, but also at the same time walk into a room looking to learn. They go into a room knowing a lot, but also go into the room emptying their cup. See, that's an investor. One, one, one operates with humility, the other one operates with ego. Oh, I got, I got this MR 401k, da, 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 da. oh, I got this real estate portfolio, da, da, da. I got all this gold. Listen, awesome. One says, man, you know what, I got all this savings and real estate and portfolio and gold and da, 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 da. What am I missing? What else can I do to improve? How else can I get ahead? And the reason why I'm sharing all this is because, listen, somebody asked me what I, you just heard. What can I do with 5,000 bucks? Not much. It's not much at all. Now put another, put another two zeros there and move the comma over two slots, $500,000, now that's a different story. So your job is to get over here. But based on what you're currently doing right now, how do we get to $500,000 in savings? How do we get to $500,000 of capital without borrowing it so I can actually really, really invest it? $5,000, $5,000 is just enough for you to get through a couple months of emergencies. At most, not to reinvest. If there's anything you're going to invest in, you invest in you to increase your thoughts, your knowledge, how you think and see and process the world. So therefore you can create more wealth for you and your family to create more income insurance protection, which you cannot buy a life insurance company, insurance company, but you build it through you.